Welcome to Introduction to Information. I'm Elaine Settergren, the online librarian. Getting information off the internet is like taking a drink from a fire hydrant. It's information overload. We've all been in the situation where we just feel overwhelmed. How do you deal with information overload? There's a set of skills called information literacy skills that can help you cope with today's information society. Just as traditional literacy will help you navigate the written word, information literacy will help you navigate the world of information. An information literate person is able to gather information, evaluate the information, and apply the information effectively and ethically. These are skills that you'll learn throughout your classes, including this class. The deluge of information won't feel so overwhelming once you start to hone your information literacy skills because you'll have better abilities to search, sort, evaluate, and use information. You'll find sources faster and more effectively. You'll also gain critical thinking and reasoning skills. Gathering information. How do you know what information you need? First of all, there are a lot of formats of sources out there. Each format of source has its own strengths and limitations. If you look at just one format of source, uh, like videos for example, you'll see a wide range of quality and intended audiences. We'll get back to that idea of quality in a moment. Secondly, secondly there are a lot of options for where to look for sources. You can look on the internet, ask a friend, or search the library for example. That can sometimes be overwhelming. Let's look at just a few tips to get started when you search Library Connect. Number one, find your guide. This will help you narrow down the library's resources to just the ones that are relevant to your topic. Number two, when you search a database, look for the limiters. You can select full text, a date range, or sometimes limit by format. Number three, ask a librarian. Librarians can help you learn how to gather the information you need. Don't forget that even when you're done with school and you have an information problem at work or in your life, you can reach out to a librarian and help to help you gather information. As you practice gathering information for your field of study, it will get easier. You'll start to get used to learning what formats are helpful and which places are good places to look. Evaluating information. Now let's go back to that idea of quality and intended audience. First of all, let's talk about quality. After you find information, you'll need to decide if you want to use it. You can ask yourself some questions about the information source to decide if it's the level of quality that you're looking for. We librarians call this evaluating information. One popular way to evaluate your sources is to do the CRAP test. The C is for currency. Is the information up to date? The R is for reliability. Can you trust it? Does the author cite its sources? The A is for authority. Who is the author and do they have the credentials to be writing about this topic? The P is for purpose. This is where you'll look for bias and ask yourself why it's been published. You can review these concepts by viewing our evaluation guide at Library Connect. Okay, about intended audiences. There are three main categories that sources fall into. These are categories that you probably hear about in other classes too, when instructors ask you to find scholarly sources, for example. You can find more in-depth explanations of this at Library Connect. The shortest explanation I can give is that scholarly sources are usually research findings and are written for scholars and other students. Trade sources are usually practical advice for people working in a specific field. And popular sources are not written for workers or scholars, they're written for everyone to read and enjoy. You'll find sources of all types, formats, and categories in Library Connect. You can find a link to the library on the homepage in Campus Connect. If you get into the library and have questions or need advice, Please let me or another friendly librarian know. We're happy to help. Applying the information effectively and ethically. This is where you'll be 
putting that information to work. You've absorbed the knowledge and you want to tell someone, like a manager at work or your instructor at school, all about what you learned. This is where you'll include citation. My number one tip here is to start with a references citation as you're gathering and, and evaluating your sources. And then when it comes time to write your paper or create your project, you have all the sources ready to go. You can just plug in the in-text citations as you write. If you're searching Library Connect, many databases have an option to create a citation. You can copy and paste this into your references list, then just double check it for errors. Becoming information literate doesn't happen by watching a video like this or even by writing your first research paper. It takes a lot of practice to learn the best ways to gather, evaluate, and apply information for your career field. We librarians are here to support you, so please be in touch. Thanks for watching and have a great day!